Dave Murray is not only one of the greatest guitarists in heavy metal of all time, but also is the longest standing Iron Maiden band member alongside the band's founder, Steve Harris. Unbelievable. And thus, it is virtually impossible to imagine an Iron Maiden concert without Dave on stage. It's just outrageous. So first of all, what we could do is take a look at some of the isolated guitar parts performed by Dave, see how accurate he is, and then discuss a little something about his playing style overall. Here you go. Throughout the years, Dave has almost exclusively used Marshall amplifiers and Fender Stratocaster guitars, although he has of course been seen with several other guitars including Dean, Jackson and a marvelous Gibson Hummingbird he's used on the Death on the Road tour. And since Dave Murray has actually joined Iron Maiden all the way back in 1976, up to this day he remains the only band member who's appeared on every Iron Maiden studio album alongside Steve Harris. Steve showed me a couple of riffs. I think back then had like Rothschild and a few other songs and, and we, you know, jammed a little bit. And immediately like the chemistry and the vibe and um, it felt great. And thus I believe that for every Iron Maiden fan it is Dave who is considered to be the irreplaceable guitar player for Iron Maiden on all of their live shows. Also in the late 70s when Dave was sacked from Iron Maiden after an argument with the band's second vocalist Dennis Wilcock. There was some problem with Davey at the time and Dennis just said oh we should just get rid of him and I was like oh no. And instead of Iron Maiden with his old-time childhood friend Adrian Smith played in a band called Urchin, Iron Maiden didn't have some band practices and even played several shows without Dave Murray on stage, recordings of which we've analyzed in our episodes on the evolution of the early Iron Maiden sound. Yet despite all that it is virtually impossible to imagine an Iron Maiden show without Dave Murray on stage and an Iron Maiden album without Dave performing his signature legato technique which she claimed has evolved naturally after him listening to some Jimi Hendrix. And although Dave Murray is not really considered one of the main Iron Maiden songwriters, actually the only song for which he's gotten full credit up till today is still Charlotte the Hallett. His contribution to the evolution of the Iron Maiden sound is absolutely indisputable. But anyways, what do you guys personally think about Dave Murray on stage and which are your personal favorite Dave Murray solos in Iron Maiden? Please let us know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this short video guys and keep rocking.